What's up, fellas? Back again. That's right. We're hanging out here with Pops and Brandon. They're filming. And we've got a, yes, an adventure today. That's right. We've got a neat adventure. Something really? that, that we spent a lot of time last night rigging up. And, and uh, it, it could be, potentially could be, a, a really cool fishing trip. You know, about this time yesterday, you called me. Yeah. And said, hey, Dad, I got a, a hot place to go. Uh, can we borrow your boat? Remember, I had a motor on the back, yeah. and I had all it was all rigged up yeah. for a whole different deal. He says, "We got to take your motor off." We it's a no, we're, we're going. I'm gonna show you the boat here in a second. We're going to a down in the Everglades. There's, a, there's an area down there that, that we can fish today. We'll that we've got permission it's to fish. It's an experimental deal, but we can't use a motor, and and so we rigged up this boat. We two we oh, now we got two yeah. Check this out. Come here, guys. Check this out. Got, you got a really strong 36 volt trolling motor. We put a piece of three quarter inch plywood on it, we'll bolt it all down. And so we have batteries in here and everything. This thing here with this little boat, it ought to go about 10 miles an hour. Hey, what do you think of that thing? We're going to be able to go about 10 miles an hour. What are you two doing together this long? <laughs> have a good one, guys. See y'all later. So this is our little contraption here. Yeah. Three quarter inch plywood, Minn Kota, Riptide. Minn Kota sent this truck. I'm going to put this on my airboat, by the way. That's the next little project we're going to do. But we put this trolling motor on the back of this boat because no motor zone. We needed something to kind of get us around. 36 volt trolling motor. We've got a mint coat on the front as well. Oh, here comes another one. Yeah. Anyways, I know y'all can't hear me right now because this is what happens when we turn the cameras on. Yeah. Well, I do have some bad news. Of all the work we did, yeah, in this contraption, there's a little curveball that we that we uh, I didn't want to tell you this morning, but I do have it figured out. What's the deal? Well, I called a friend of mine that that fished down there, got permission to fish, and not only no motors. You use a trolling motor. Yeah, no trailer. No trailer. No, tra we can't take how that trailer. We won't be able to go. Well, yeah, I already overcame that. You know, as a fisherman, you have to overcome obstacles. Well, and so, I, we, we can't drag the thing down the road. It's not going to fit my bag on back into my Hang car. on, hang on. It's not gonna, it's, it, we, we're just shot down dead in the water after all this work. Heck of a deal. What in the world is Scott going here? What is that? A U-Haul truck. What's that going to do? Look at that, he's got some stuff in the back. Boat's going in there. What? Yeah. Not totally gonna fit, but that's all they had. And I got a couple did, little pieces of wood did there. Did you measure this six foot wide? Yeah, we'll that? make it work. That's six foot That's wide? what we're gonna do, U-Haul bass fishing today. So we're gonna have to back it up? Back Somehow, back? I'm gonna back it up. We'll back it up, drag it in there. We'll get to the little spot down there and we'll drag it out. Okay. Okay? That's Let's the plan. You gotta overcome obstacles. Let's do it. U-Haul bass fishing secret place. I don't know what to expect, but it's going to be, let's, let's just get the thing in there. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Back it in. Looks a little tight. We need a bigger truck. Problem is, I don't have a bigger truck. That's all we got. The best I could do is 7.30 in the morning. Keep coming, boys. Right, that's it. That's it. Now, now we all have to do is push it in. You guys gotta come out of there. <laughs> Hang on, we're good. Oh yeah, this has got to be one of my top, <laughs> top 15 <laughs> ideas ever. Maybe 30. The greatest thing going down the road now. Brandon, if you got a roll and sit in the seat. Well, <laughs> as you go down the street, a, there is a problem. There's another problem I forgot to tell you about. When I got the U-Haul this morning, yeah, it's only two seats in it. <laughs> so Brandon, I'm going to sit back here. Brandon or Dad, you guys can stay back here in the back, like about this area, and hold fish? the flag. Can we fish? Hold the flags like this. Direct traffic. Sorry, Brandon. No, I'm, the, no. I'm the legal driver of this boat, of this no. truck right here. No. And Dad, Dad, Dad can't ride. I don't know. What, I don't know what you call it when you ride the back of a truck in a boat, but. <laughs> I would say either there or the angle. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. We we drew straws on this whole deal, and Brandon lost. 
<laughs> the spinning worm lost the, the draw straw. All right, that, yeah, that looks that looks comfortable. I'd say that's good. That's good. <laughs> Only 50 miles or so. All right, let's go. Limited time offer. Immediate moving. We can move. Oh, I think that's it. I think that's the ramp. Hang on. I'm in the back still. I'm in the back. I'm in the back. I'm still back here. I'm still back. What are you doing? gonna do I got an idea we're gonna go real fast if we go real fast and reverse and hit the brakes it should launch right out of the u-haul like perfect like but we need you in it so you can troll motor back to us <laughs> you survived well, that, well, survived well, that ride was that awful it was awful it sounded like an earthquake in here really yeah you're all dusty yeah man how much more He's, it's almost out. All right, we're in the water. Maybe I should take this on tour next year. That's what we could do, Brandon. They make one that's bigger than this, like twice, maybe three times, where we could put the Ranger in there weld some bunks in there for the boat and then just leave the ranger inside the u-haul and we can have a little sleeping quarters in there <laughs> yeah awesome that wasn't too hard was it it was easy all right let the adventure begin all right i'm in charge of driving first we'll see how fast it goes first hang on let's see what we got here oh oh yeah we're good what do you got? Rocks. <laughs> we'll put on a frog. What kind of frog is it? It's a live target popping frog. Actually, I didn't think I'd like sitting down and fishing, but this is kind of comfortable right here. I'm gonna open them up just a hair. Now, if I was in real super, super thick mats, I'd leave it. But this is more like going down the edge. What's neat about this frog, it's got a really good hook, number one. Popping nose on it. A little chamber in the back that lets the water out. So you don't have to squeeze this frog much at all. All right, so that's rigged up. Now let me go ahead and tell everyone right now while everybody's watching. My bass boat is in Kansas City because we're about to leave next week to head to Minnesota. So all of my tackle, all my tournament tackle is in my bass boat. Yeah, it's in Kansas City right now. All of my tackle is in my bass boat. See, these are rods I had left over in my garage, and I literally had to just grab some stuff laying around. I do not have any Guggen worms in the boats, any Guggen baits in the boat at all, because I didn't plan on fishing this week. But nevertheless, I guarantee you that Mondo in here would work good. That one? Fresh mouth, large water black bass. I don't think that's a Very nice. Uh-huh. He's never been caught before. So that's a good deal. We got to the current. Right out here, there's a big pump deal up here. And there, look at all the currents just going like crazy. So that's where we are. By the pump. I'm just kind of enjoying chilling back here. Not very often that I actually get to just kind of sit Bill Dance style. So that's actually a really good setup. And all we did, guys, again, is we just attached this three-quarter inch plywood, C-clamped it. We did two bolts in the back corners, C-clamped the rest of it. 36 volt system. Easy. It's hard to steer this thing because it starts turning. It's hard to text and drive. I 
see that. See a swim bait. There's some fish in here. You know, the closer we get to that, the closer we get to that, that, that structure up there, the pump, the more bass we're going to catch. Right now they're kind of small. You know, we heard reports of 10 pound fish in here. Of course, these are only a couple pounds right now, but at least it's a good sign that we're catching something. Uh, we don't know what to expect. It's our first trip. We don't know what lures are best. We're just kind of treating it like it's Okeechobee, kind of. Just kind of, I'm just throwing a swim bait, making long casts, holding on and reeling. And the problem with you standing up way up high like that, as you balance yourself, the whole thing off. Again, it's Brandon. I'm not moving. I'm not even like one time even like adjusted. I'm just standing here. Why are you blaming me? Because you're going, you're going like this. That's because you're on the edge. I'm not moving. At least, you know, after spending money on a U-Haul and money on a trolling motor, I at least want to catch one today. I see some fish feeding up there on the right, on that right very corner, the very right side with those cat, last cattails on the right. There's fish blowing up in that grass. There's one. Oh, that was a good one. There's a good one. Brandon. Worth spending a hundred bucks on if I can get him in the boat. Probably with the current. Right. Might get off. He's barely hooked. Crankbait. Huh? On that crankbait. What crankbait is that? A little square bill that I had. How many you got? It's only one. It's only one? Only one. Oh, Ooh, careful now. Ooh, there we go. There we go. How about that? What's that's cool. Pounds? He's a five. Five? five Boy, that's a good one. Five pounder! Five pounder! And that's the first time this fish has probably ever been caught. Ever. That's cool. All right, so now the money I spent on the U-Haul, the money I spent on the trolling motor, pretty much worth it. Awesome. Bye-bye now. That was cool. Oh yeah, look at this one, look at this one, look at this one. Oh, I got a big one. I got a big one. Got a big big one? one, yeah, real big one. Oh, yeah. From five pounds to five inches, literally. Now we've made it all the way to the very end of this channel. I mean, this, this whole system is way bigger than what we just saw. It just happens to be where we decided to launch the boat. But they're pumping water to this big pump station right here. So bad, so sad. I'm the cichlid killer. We ought to eat these, Brandon. We ought to take these home, fry them up on the Traeger, grill them up on the Traeger, I should say. I bet, I bet it would be good. That's what we saw schooling. I bet that's the size fish that we're we, we're way down below here, looking up towards the spillway. We saw something breaking in the water, and that's probably what they were. Those little schoolers. Probably a cichlid. Yeah, I think it's a cichlid, though. Be nice if it wasn't one. Oh, it is. It is. Look at that. Look at there. How about that? How about that? Oh God. Oh. Why do these things eat the hook like? Every one you catch, you little something or other. After U-Haul watches this video, they're going to say in their website, you know, things you can't do with the U-Haul. And one is going to be launch a boat from the back of the U-Haul. They're going to add that into the, the requirements of things you can't do. Oh my god! Oh, a fresh mouth, Mark, what's like that? 
Looky there. <laughs> How long has it been? <laughs> Come on back! Come on! Come on! Come on back! Come on back! Come on! Okay! Go, go ahead! Hey, the thing to do is just buy one of these things and put a four-wheel drive on it and have a big one where the whole thing just goes in here and you just close it up and your boat's in here stored like a garage well what do you think that was an awesome day well, that's a good deal that was huh? a good deal hey we caught plenty of fish that was you good know, was pretty neat. Hey, for the first time you know you never know these new places are just i'm on pins and needles i think i'm gonna catch the biggest fish ever. oh yeah well here's the deal we're in middle of the summer the worst oh, dog no. days of the year down yeah, here right now we caught a good limit so what the heck i caught one decent one but we're coming back we're coming back to this place if we can yeah. get permission we'll come back especially when the water starts to cool down a little bit i think the fishing's oh, going to be unbelievable oh, and there's so much more to explore you know there's there's here. just literally miles and miles and miles yeah, of lots vehicles. of stuff out here to, to figure well, out so hardly wait hey yeah. hey i want you to go back. i want to come back with you now yeah okay we'll sure. make it a you deal. bring the boat i'll bring the u-haul okay that's good hey guys here do me a favor real quick dad has got his own youtube channel Roland Martin Outdoors. We're going to drop a link down below in the description. Check it out. He's got all kind of stuff from fishing tips, crazy adventures, to woodworking, well, building woodworking stuff. He's all kind of interesting things. And bowls and all kinds everything, of everything. Everything. So check out I his reload, channel. Do shooting. Mm -hmm. yeah. All the good stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. Brandon, Brandon, um, you lost, my friend. So uh, back, into the, back into the back. Back in the boat, my friend. I wasn't part of it. <laughs> we'll see you. Bam!